Hey guys, wanted to give you a quick update video on the channel. It's been a while since we've touched base, as they say in the business industry or something. And I thought, you know what? There's some big things happening with me. I, I think I should probably give you a heads up. Obviously the biggest news for me personally and my family is that I'm moving. If you didn't know that, I've been talking about it on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Adam Olinger. Please check me out there, by the way, if you haven't. Even if you don't like watching me stream Fortnite or whatever I'm playing, um, it's a good time. We talk movies in the chat. I answer any question you throw at me. It's a lot of fun. Again, it's twitch.tv slash Adam Olinger. I know people have talked about in the past how they don't want to give money to Patreon or YouTube join because they just don't have any funds available, but they would like to support somehow. Well, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you get a free Twitch membership every single month. So you could show your support for my channel and not have to spend a dime by just subscribing on Twitch. It's Again, you have a free Prime membership, otherwise that just goes to Jeff Bezos. He's just pocketing all that coin instead of giving me those few bucks. As I was saying though, my two kids, my wife and myself are moving. We're going to South Carolina at the end of April. April 22nd is our new close date, so that's when we'll be in the house. We'll be gone from Minnesota. It's gonna be a you know 18 to 20 hour drive. I got a bunch of pods lifting all my furniture over there, and then I'll bring it into the new place. This is a huge move for a lot of reasons. One, all of our family and friends are here. Two, my job is here, although I can work remotely. Yes, I have a full-time job that's not YouTube, believe it or not. This doesn't make me much coin. Three, my wife doesn't have a job anymore. She'll probably have to find one when we get down there. But our goal is actually to make this channel profitable enough where she won't have to. And thanks to some of the support I've been getting, it's definitely helped bolster the, the numbers. Um, so again, I ask you, patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or become a YouTube join member. You do get exclusive videos every month. You get some badges if you join on YouTube. I will follow you on Letterboxd if you give me your handle on Patreon or YouTube join. And I'm gonna come up with other perk ideas. One of them that I'm floating is at a certain threshold, maybe 20 bucks a month, I'll let you pick a movie out and I will review it. I am keeping my current full-time job. I'm a web developer and designer, so I can do that anywhere. I'm already remote. I've been remote pre-COVID. So this isn't really a big change as far as the work goes, but pretty much every other aspect is. You might be asking why South Carolina? It's a good question. It's an honest question. And honestly, the answer is we just kind of picked it. We haven't been to the East Coast of America at all. I went out and visited South Carolina for a week, really liked it, loved the weather. That was, that was like the main reason. We hate the cold, we're sick of it. Um, I like the weather there. We want to travel up and down the east side. Uh, I have some people over there that I want to get in contact with. Tony from Hack the Movies, if you see this video, we're going to make something happen now. And it's kind of just an all-around fresh start for us. We're excited to start a new chapter and experience new things. I'm not interested in the political side of it or the religious side of it. My goal is to just really buckle down, focus on growing this channel, focus on saving some money for my family, making sure my kids have everything they need, making sure my wife is happy, and all that other noise, that, that's, that's everywhere. The main reason I'm giving you this update right now is so there's not a shock when my videos start looking a little different in the coming weeks. I have until about April 11th to shoot videos in my downstairs basement studio here before I have to pack it all up. So I'm gonna try to get as much content ready and baked in while I'm on the road. But odds are that's not gonna be enough and I'm gonna have to shoot some stuff while I'm driving. And I think that'll be a fun change of pace. So I'm planning on kind of rebranding Adam Rance movies to like Adam Rance movies far from home or road trip or something. And I'll just do the rants in a different style while I'm gone and while I'm getting my new studio set up. That's the other really exciting news I have. In my new house, I have a dedicated room this time, not just a basement cellar like thing that I walled off, but I'm gonna have an actual room with windows and not feel like I'm operating out of a crypt at uh, 40 degrees. I'll have a nice big TV in there. I'll have a workstation. I'll have a Twitch station so that I can stream without having to unplug and screw around with things constantly. And of course, I'll have a larger version of this studio, which is gonna make things even easier on my end. I'm not gonna lie, this has been an intense last couple months, a little stressful to say the least, but when you put it into perspective, of course, like I always do, there are far worse things going on in the world to people, to good people, uh, than what's happening with me and my like, you know, first world issues. The last piece of news that is kind of official, but I'm not supposed to say too much on it yet, is I did team up with another YouTube channel slash Twitch streaming channel that's, that's pretty large on Twitch, but they're really starting to grow on YouTube. Uh, and they reached out to me to partner to do a movie podcast. 
So I am gonna be starting that probably sometime in early May. Um, we've been kind of getting things figured out. That will be a once a week podcast with the opportunity to do more with them. It's like incredibly low pain. Like I said, they're just getting on their feet. They're just getting out the door. But I wanted to partner up with another company like Screen Rant, who's much smaller, but could potentially get to their level. And this just came at a really good time. So I am working with some guys to do this. I'll announce it when that actually gets closer but that's also on the horizon. So for the next week or two, it is gonna be pretty much business as usual. After that, things are gonna get a little crazier with the schedule. I don't exactly know when videos are gonna come out. I don't know how I'm gonna shoot them, but I'll get something to you. I promise you that. If you currently live in South Carolina and you're close to Somerville, that's the area I'm gonna be living in, I'd be happy to watch a movie with you. Let me know in the comments, we'll catch up. I've done it with people here in Minnesota many times over. We've gone to movies together, so I have no problem. Uh, I could use a friend out there. I don't mind seeing movies alone, but I prefer if I have someone to talk about the film with afterwards. Uh, my kids are getting old enough where we can go to a lot of movies together, but sometimes it's also healthy not to see the family 24 seven. So if, if you're in that area, let me know. We'll try to meet up. Lastly, a big thank you to people that are supporting me on Patreon, YouTube Join, or Twitch right now. I've been doing this channel off and on for over a decade. It's had its ups, it's had its downs, but we're finally at a good spot for these last six months or so where we've had continuous growth. I say we because I'm like including you in this, uh, the people that have been watching for a long time. It does feel like I've been on this journey with people in the comments, you know, strangers from afar that we, we share a like-mindedness when it comes to films or even if we don't agree, we at least approach them in a more pragmatic way where it's not just you suck, you're stupid for not liking this. There's actual reasons behind it that a movie is good and works for you or it's bad and it doesn't. And that's how it's supposed to be. Like everything, I think. According to YouTube analytics, the channel averages around 550 new subscribers every month. So if you do the math, we're not gonna hit 100,000 subs by the end of the year, which is the goal. I mean, that's on the current trajectory. That doesn't mean we can't. I could have a popular video go out like The Matrix again and instantly grab a couple thousand subs. It's possible. And it really helps when people push the channel. So make sure to tweet it out. Make sure to send it to your Facebook friends, tell your mom and dad, whoever. And let's keep building the channel up because we need good ones out there on YouTube. Instead of all these fake shills and outrage ones, it's nice to have just honest, open discussion with a little comedy mixed in. At least that's my approach to pretty much everything in this world. Uh, thanks again for watching. Take care. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Uh, am I making a huge mistake by moving and you know uprooting the family and, and basically destroying my life? Or is this a great idea? <laughs> like the video if you had a good time. Please subscribe if you're new here. I don't know why you would be new on this video. That's weird if it's getting pushed. But if you are, stick around. I post content all the time. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Oh, what a shock, Sheila. You're not gonna be here the week we move. So you won't be able to lend a hand. So that's like literally every day you're on the job. You do nothing. I don't even know what you do here. Didn't I fire you like six times in the past? How do you keep coming back? You're like the Fast and the Furious franchise. No matter how idiotic and useless you are, just keep coming back again. I'm honestly done with you. Oh my God, you guys are still watching. Um, I was just having a nice heart to heart with uh, one of my interns who's been around for an eternity. There's other videos to, to click on. Notification bell so they show up in your feed and hopefully I never see you again, Sheila.